California, weighing in at 155 pounds, is standing in at 5 feet 9 inches tall, fighting for millennia jiu-jitsu and Pacific martial arts, and specializing in jiu-jitsu, this is Gabe. his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. From Ensenada, Mexico, weighing in at 155 pounds. He's standing in at 5 feet 9 inches tall. A member of the Udo Fight Club and a submission fighting specialist, this is He has become a crowd favorite, no doubt about it. You hear the introduction, and Olaf, I mean, the guy's smiling, waving at the crowd. Just I an interesting personality. I like his trunks. OFC surely has to mean Olaf fighting championships. What do you think, Jeff? It sounds good to me. It sounds good to me. And this is kind of different. He's smiling. Normally, he's got the wild eye. Gentlemen. Josh Rosenthal will bring them together. We'll listen right. in here. We'll the Let's see the, the stare down here. No, touch close. Go back to the corner. Let's do this. All right, a lot of talk between uh, these two leading up to the fight. Yeah, uh, evidently Olaf got his pride stung a little bit by some of the things Gabe said on the internet. And Gabe told me earlier tonight uh, that he hoped it would get under his skin. All right, well, let's see what happens. The WEC World Lightweight Championship. Olaf against Gabe Rudinger. And this is where Olaf wants. He'd love to stand up all day in bed. Oh, left hand there. How about Gabe surprising him? Looked like he stunned him for a half second. But one thing about Olaf, he always recovers well. He's got a quick recovery time. Right now, trying to exchange some knees. Kind of a wild brawl here to start the fight. Rudinger wants to get the uh, double underhooks, try to throw Olaf. I don't know if he can, though. I mean, Olaf's such a strong guy. Olaf trying to pick uh, a takedown there, Jeff. Uh, Melendez, who beat Olaf, is a much better wrestler than Rudiger. So Rudiger will not have the takedown skill, and I think Olaf will be much better on his feet. And then Melendez was able to capitalize on double legs to get Olaf down and then control it. And there's a wild right hand. Oh, oh. left connected there from Gabe Rudinger. Olaf loves that wild style. He would love to make it a brawl. Here comes a knee there that just misses. And Rudinger wants to go right to the guard. And How tries to sweep right away. Tries to sweep right away. Gets the takedown. And tries to scoot around out of the guillotine. Good, quick moves. I tell you what, both guys really moving at a frantic pace here in this first round. Oh, right hand just missed, is. blocked by Gabe Rudinger. This is where Olaf, now Olaf, I tell you what, he loves to stand up, but he does get caught. He can get caught with those wild punches. Now he's going for a rear naked choke right here. Now he's trying to work for the choke. He doesn't have it yet, but he might have it. No, but he, he has to get the, under the chin, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, the chin's tucked right now. But he's got his arm under uh, Gabe's left arm. Yeah, he, he's, he's working for the choke, but he's, he's, he doesn't got it. So Gabe doing a nice job tucking the chin, and Stephen, as you said, he's got his arm also protecting him. Yeah. And Gabe very relaxed right there. Knew exactly that? where he was. Gabe Turned top, in on him right Olaf, away. Olaf going for the Kimura at the side. Gabe right now very calm. Very calm. Collecting himself, getting ready. Trying to work the body. Olaf there, you mentioned working for that left arm. Actually, Olaf's got his arm pinned underneath him. He's hanging on to it. Gabe only has really one arm to work with at the moment. And Gabe scooting him up against the fence forward. Uh, now, now, now he's working a rear uh -oh. naked choke. Now this is going to be a oh, test for Olaf. This is in trouble for Olaf. Uh -oh. Olaf. Olaf has never tapped out. He's in a bad position oh, right here. You know, Olaf is in bad because his chin is up high. The yep. arm is in front of his throat. Oh, Gabe's got a tight. This is, this this is, is over right here. Yeah. Well, let's see what Olaf does. Olaf's in big trouble here. Yeah, he's got to turn out. He's got to make a move. Oh, he's got it tight. Look at Olaf. It's getting tighter. Olaf, what can he do? Uh oh, he's, he's oh he's, he's, he's out. choking he's out. out. No, no, he's not. Jack. Oh, he's going out. He's going out right here. He faked him. Go the elbow. Is, Go the elbow. is he faking him out? Oh, he's trying to get out of it. Oh he, man. No, he's out. He's got, the referee's, he's got to stop it. Oh, Olaf. He's won't out. Stop. He's out. He's out. He hasn't moved. Olaf is still. Wait, 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 that's wait, wait, it. Wait, 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 that's it. That's it. That's it. He's out. He is out. He is out. He choked him out. Olaf said he would never quit in the ring, and he did not quit here. 
All off right now. Got choked out there by Gabe Rudinger. Right now, right now, Olaf just came to and he said, "What happened?" He still wants to fight. He doesn't know. Stay down. He doesn't know. Gabe Rudinger is your winner. Gets the choke out over Olaf. Right now, the doctors are looking at Olaf. Safety is always the is always the most important thing. Safety of the ring. Olaf's chin was up high and the arm was across his throat, locked in. And by a jiu-jitsu specialist from Millennia Jiu-Jitsu. And, and he, he also had the figure four around the waist. Yeah. You know, I mean, Olaf had no room to turn. His hips are locked down. And the jiu-jitsu master, Rudiger, able to take advantage of the situation on the ground, getting that rear naked. So Gabe gets an impressive first round. He's up and he's all right. Let's hear it for Olaf Hansen. Olaf is okay. You see him? He didn't even know. It's one of those things that you go back and you watch the tape, you, you find out what happened. But congratulations to Gabe. Sure, what is it? Good sportsmanship right there. Both guys meet. Yeah. And that's Gabe's biggest win. He told me a win over Olaf would really help his career and help set the Ladies stage. And after three minutes and five Here it is. Into the first round. The winner of this fight and new world champion fighting my question, was Olaf trying to fake his way out of that? Well, it looked like it at first, but you I see think he, he was wasn't. coming in and out. I think he might have gone and then something came to him and then he tried again and then he was out. Yeah, that, he's getting some bad reception right here. Yeah, right there, he was out. No doubt about it. He was out. Let's go to our Ron Crook who's standing backstage with Olaf. All right, Olaf, you've never tapped out before. You no, didn't again. Have. Tell me about what happened in there. I have no idea. <laughs> well, we do have it on tape. Got, we got, can he, show you. No, he, he got my neck, and I was just uh, waiting for, for the opportunity to come out. And next thing I know, I guess he put me out. <laughs> 